It's time for Victory Now. The exciting outreach ministry of Victory Christian Center in Richmond, Kentucky. Join us now for a time of praise and worship and the study of God's Word with our pastor, Philip Holman. Welcome to the broadcast of Victory Now. I'm Pastor Holman, the pastor at Victory Christian Center, and we're going to have a time worshiping Jesus, lifting up His name. I'm excited about the church today and what's going on in the house of God across the world as we see more and more of the prophetic events that are mentioned in the Word of God coming to pass, letting you and I know that I'm telling you that God's time clock is working and we are rapidly approaching the rapture of the church of Jesus and praise God the soon second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, the prophet prophetic word of the Lord says in the book of Acts that Jesus was going to set up, set up again, build up again the tabernacle of David. You know, as you begin to study the word of God there in Acts 15, 16, where it talks about rebuilding the tabernacle of David, as you look at this worship and what took place at that tabernacle, you know, when David brought in the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem and set it up on Mount Zion, that's where he set the tabernacle and David began to set down a new order of worship. And 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the men of God stood before the ark of God, praising and worshiping, lifting up the name of, uh, lifting up the name of God, worshiping him in the beauty of holiness. And we're seeing that across America. We're seeing that across the world as men and women are with absolutely, without thinking about tradition, without thinking about how somebody else used to do it, going back to this blessed book and finding out what is it that God is looking for as we worship him and as we lift him up. You know, as we look in the Word of God and we look in the book of Psalms and we talk about, like in Psalms 150, the perfect worship service, the kind of service that God will go to, you'll find out that it's exciting. It's lifting up the name of God. People are rejoicing. The instruments are playing loudly. People are even dancing, magnifying the name of God. And in that atmosphere, my friend, the Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. And you know what? As you and I get into that atmosphere, that's where we're going to find our miracle from God. That's where God is going to meet us at our point of need as we we begin to worship him, lifting up his son, because Jesus said, if I be lifted up, all men will be drawn unto me. And that's what we do here at Victory. We lift up the name of Jesus. As we worship him, we see people's lives changed. Yes, they're set free. They're delivered. They're saved. They're healed. Marriages are put back together. What an awesome God we serve today. As you're rejoicing with us in one of our worship services here at Victory, I want to invite you to go ahead and call that number at the bottom of your screen. At the other end of that line is a prayer volunteer who's ready to pray the prayer of faith with you according to your need, whatever it may be. Our God is still meeting needs today. He's still healing. He's still setting the captives free. So go ahead and call. Let us pray that prayer of faith with you. Speak the word of God over you. And I believe that we're going to see some great things come to pass in your life. Well, let's join the saints at victory as they enter into the presence of God and expect a miracle for themselves. And I believe as you expect, you also will receive from the Lord all of the things that God has intended for you as you reach out in faith in the name of His Son, Jesus. Said it's all over and done. 
But Satan failed to realize that the battle had just begun. An angel stepped out, <laughs> said, Jesus is alive and well. Come on. He got up. He got up. He got up. It's all over and done. But still it's Satan, he fell and re to realize that the battle had just begun. On the third day, an angel stepped out to Jesus in the line and well. What did he say? Said it's all over and done. But Satan failed to realize that his battle had just begun. On the third day, the angel stepped out to Jesus in the line and found. What do you say, yo?
you ain't even half there yet. Hallelujah. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. I mean, y'all just need to quiet that stuff down right now. You all just need to quiet that stuff down right now. You're getting just a little bit too rowdy in the house and you're upsetting somebody. Turn and ask somebody right now, am I upsetting you? Hmm. Oh, so we're going back into it. Huh? I don't know if you know what we're talking about. Maybe it's just a religious thing to you, a religious rite. Maybe, maybe it's just something to you that, yeah, I've heard that story, and yeah, I know that Jesus rose from the dead and all that kind of stuff, but you got to understand something. He didn't only raise from the dead, but he got down inside of me, and there's something that I cannot help it. Hallelujah. I cannot, I, I will not be silent. I will not, this is my celebration. This is his party. Huh? Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise God. Turn around and tell three people, if he did for you what he did for me, you'd act like I do. I don't know about this religious stuff now. I don't, I don't know about that kind of stuff. Well, we, you're in the right place to learn about it. Huh? I know this might upset you a little, you, 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 you just a little bit because you don't know what they're going to do next. You can think, Man, dear Lord, if they don't stop this, some of these people are going to get out now the and they're going to start doing some things that... Let me see if I can date some of you. Anybody ever do Chubby Checker's Twist? Let me see all you Chubby Checker. I used to do the twist. Come on, let me see it. Let me see it. Anybody ever do the jerk? I didn't say you were a jerk. Did anybody ever do the jerk? Anybody ever get out on the dance floor and gyrate and people look at you and say, there's something wrong with your body. There's something wrong with you. You ain't got no rhythm, but it didn't stop you. Huh? Swell dancing's for the dance floor. And, 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 and where, where'd you get that kind of stuff? Say what? Oh, I'm telling you, we know how to celebrate in the house of God. There's only one people that I know of on the face of the planet that even knows what joy is. And that's the blood washed, redeemed child of God that knows that I can lay my head on my pillow tonight and I don't have to worry about a thing. If death take me before morning, I'm out of here. And when I'm out of here, I'm going to be in the presence of Jesus. So don't shut me down now just because I'm celebrating. What? Now, now, tell me again, what was it that you thought that the devil, he was having a party? You, he wants to do what? Tell me about it again. Tell me about it again. You see, hell threw a party on Friday night. Said it's all over and done. But Satan failed to realize that the battle had just begun. On the third day, an angel stepped out, said Jesus is alive. Said it was all over and done. But that old devil. 
you're on your knees all the time but if you are communicating with God on a regular basis there is a knowing in your spirit if you notice I said spirit because God does not communicate with the mind he communicates with the spirit there is a knowing I, I, somebody's going to testify in a minute because I'm getting ready to get my shout on even though it seems like things are waxing worse in the natural there's a knowing in your spirit that something is getting ready to break. You can't put your hand on it. You can't even really call it what it is. But you know God's up to something. And when the pastor was up here talking, God brought back something that he gave me for you guys this week. And I totally forgot it. How many of you know that you can get so caught up with the cares of, you know, getting my house together before I get ready to leave and tending to the son and taking him to driver's ed and cooking and cleaning and ministering to the husband? And God had given me something for you guys, and I totally forgot it. But then he got up there, and he said, it's like a dam. And I said, oh, my goodness. What God showed me about this place, I saw in the spirit as a big dam. And this dam had this huge crack going all the way down through the dam. And it was so, I mean, it was such a huge crack that you could see the water seeping out. Do you understand? You ever seen a movie where it's like, it's getting ready to break. God told me to tell you, it's getting ready to break. And, and you know what he told me to tell you? I saw this thing in the spirit. It's getting ready to break. And you know what he told me? He said, it's not going to be your financial giving. It's not going to be you not missing a service. He said, but what's going to produce the overflow is when you let the world know. See, you let the world know by how you live. That he is God. And that no matter what comes up against your life, come on. You're just like the three Hebrew boys. We're not going to bow. We're not going to bend. And we're certainly not going to burn. Come on. But that you worship him. Worship is going to bring the overflow. Why do you think the devil fights us so hard in that area? Your flesh don't want to worship God. Your flesh. Come on. But worship is going to usher in the overflow. But I saw the water trickling. And I want you to know it's about to break. You don't want to be out there running around, you know, busy with everything. But you want to be where the flow is getting ready to break. And when it comes, it's not going to just be that you're going to be jumping up and down and you ain't contain yourself. But you know what's going to happen? God says, when this overflow come, things you've been struggling with for years, sir. Things you've been trying to get over. I mean, you're just going to start walking in victory without nobody laying hands on you. You're just going to see. Come on. You were singing tonight. This all goes together. Chains. Honey, they're just going to start breaking off. Even as they sang at midnight and the chains begin to fall off. Come on. God was trying to show us something in the church. Missed it. We thought it was in our eloquent preaching. I know this ain't my message, but I got to say this. We thought it was in how great we was, but it's something in recognizing that he is God. See, you, you got to go from the Old Testament all the way through the New, and I've been through the, I don't understand it all, but what I do understand, I understand. And one thing I have learned about the God that we serve is that he desires his people to worship him. He loves worship. He said, I dwell in the praises. Come on. But he loves to worship. Come on. You know why because you've got to pay something it costs something to worship God it's easier to throw some money in the bucket but it costs something to work this flesh and say look I keep my body under see we got to learn that keeping the body under principle I keep it under flesh I know you don't want to raise your hands but guess what you ain't got to say so in this thing you will raise your hands you will open up your mouth you will dance before the Lord with all of your might 
And you know what God told me? He said, when the overflow comes, people that look like they're corpse in the church are going to start dancing and running around the church. Join us for 2005 Spring Camp Meeting with Evangelist Olivia Mitchell, May 1st through the 3rd, Sunday at 10.30 a.m. and 6 p.m., Monday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Three days of praise and worship in God's Word. It's 2005 Spring Camp Meeting at Victory Christian Center in Richmond, Kentucky, May 1st through the 3rd. For more information, call 859-624-3553 or visit victorynow.tv. The land of the Bible, God's chosen land, Israel, the place where His eye is forever upon. Now you can take the journey of a lifetime that will live forever in your heart and soul. Come with Pastors Philip and Debbie Holman as they travel to Israel for 11 days, November 7th through the 17th. Journey with us as we travel from the Sea of Galilee down to the Dead Sea and then to Jerusalem. Walk where Jesus walked and taught. See the place of the crucifixion and rejoice at his empty tomb. Call 859-624-3553 and receive your enrollment form. The cost is very low, just $18.85 plus tax and tip from Cincinnati. Your trip includes first-class hotels, morning and evening meals, plus all the sights. The journey you have waited for is now. It's your turn to go to Israel. Come, let your heart be changed. Call now, 859-624-3553. God's chosen land is waiting. Remember, seating is limited, so call now. The Word of God is clear that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that God is not a respecter of persons. The Scriptures decree in the book of Romans, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God will in no wise cast anyone away and out that will call in faith believing on the name of Jesus. God is willing and more than able, the Bible tells us, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. We find that in Ephesians, the third chapter, verse 20. God wants to bless you and minister to you and thereby glorify His Son, Jesus, for the work that He has done. The work that has already been completed Yes, Jesus has already paid the price. He's already done everything that is necessary in order to bring you and me and anyone else who calls upon his name into a place of salvation, a place of fellowship with God the Father that had been broken because of our own rebellions. God is ready right now, my friend, if you'll call upon him to begin to step into your life and begin to change things up. The Bible says if we become a new creature in Christ, all the old things pass away. Everything becomes new. I'm not going to tell you that coming to Christ that everything's going to come up roses in the morning, but I'm going to tell you that you start an eternal destiny in your life to change your life and understanding that when this life is over, you're going to be standing in the presence of God, worshiping and fellowshipping with the saints of God. And what an awesome promise this is to every man and woman, boy and girl who will believe on the name of the Lord Jesus. Before you go to bed tonight, why don't you go ahead and just call upon the name of God. Maybe you don't know the scriptures and maybe you're not eloquent in, in being able to pray, but God knows your heart. God knows the depth of your desperation. He knows the depth of your desire. If you truly want Jesus in your heart and your life, God will answer your prayer and God will begin to do a new thing in you. I know that he will. He did it in me. He'll do it in you. I'd like to invite you to be with us here at Victory at one of our services. If you're ever in the driving distance of Richmond, you don't have a home church to go to, come on and be with us and come expecting. Come expecting a miracle because miracles happen here, not because of us, but because of the God that we serve. This is a room with an atmosphere of faith and expectancy and people are receiving here all the time. And we give God all the glory, all the honor and the praise goes to him. Well, until that time, you and I get a chance to worship together, my friend, and just talk about the good things of Jesus. Let's rejoice every day. Let's be excited about the kingdom of God. Let's be excited about the changes that are coming about in our life because of Christ Jesus and because of what Jesus did at Calvary and how he rose from the grave, conquering death and hell and all the enemy. You and I can walk in victory now. Victory Now is brought to you by Victory Christian Center of Richmond, Kentucky, a ministry committed to reaching out to our community and across the world. We invite you to come and join us as we magnify the Lord Jesus with exciting praise and worship and the study of God's Word. Service times are Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and 6 p.m., Thursdays at 7 p.m. Victory Christian Center is located off of I-75 at exit 90, going away from town four-tenths of a mile and turn left. 
To learn more about the ministries of Victory Christian Center, visit our website at www.victorynow.tv. You can also write to us at Victory Now, P.O. Box 2167, Richmond, Kentucky, 40476. Or email us at info at victorynow.tv. Our prayer is that you may know the revelation the Word of God teaches about the power that Jesus has given you to walk in victory now in every area of your life.